Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hold yourself if you're coming across a Windows feature error 0x800F0954 when you're attempting to install NetFramework 3.5. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu, just go ahead and left click on the start button one time. Type in regedit, it's R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back a registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now on the left side here, you want to select the file tab and then select export. We just want to create a backup of a registry before we move forward if we ever need it to restore it. And you just want to name the file name. I mean, it can be whatever you want. I typically would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup is the smartest choice in my mind. And then export range should be selected to all and then save it to a convenient location on your computer. Ever need to import it back in just would do file import. So pretty straightforward. And once you've done your backup now you want to go expand the HK local machine folder. So either double click on it or left click on a little arrow next to it to expand the drop down. So you want to do the same now for the software folder. So again, either double click or left click a little arrow next to it. Should be a policies folder under here. Expand that one as well. Microsoft, expand that. And there should be a Windows folder right here. So again, expand that one. And it should be something now that says Windows Update in here. Go ahead and left click on that. Expand it as well. And you want to go and select the AU folder under here. So it should say AU. On the right side, you want to go ahead and look for something that says Windows Update. Now on the right side, you want to look for something that says User WU Server. If you don't see one in here, you want to go ahead and right click in a blank spot. Select New and then select String Value. You want to name this User, so U-S-E-R and then capital W-U. Server, capital S and Server, no spaces in between any of this, no spaces in between any of this, and then you want to hit enter on your keyboard, and then you want to double click on it, and set the value data to zero, so just type the number zero in here, and then left click on OK. Once you're done with that, you can close out of the registry editor, restart your computer, and hopefully that's resolved your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.